Andrea. Hi, Rick. Remember when we played for those great kids in Haiti? Michelle asked a really good question and we were done. What was it? To my utter shock, because no grown-up or anybody has ever asked me while I'm demonstrating the oboe and the woodwind sax, do you play the English horn? And I do and always have, but I was so surprised by your question, I didn't have it with me, and I wanted to show you a little bit about the English horn. And what is the difference between an English horn and an oboe? And why do you play it? Most it's orchestral in, uh, musicians might play just one, one instrument. One instrument, yeah. yeah. That is definitely the, the usual situation. And this is just a bigger oboe, uh, a bigger sister, I always think of it. So the fingerings are exactly the same. How I blow the reed is really quite similar, slight uh, adjustment. Um, and so I'm able to play both, just like a flutist can play piccolo. Same fingerings. Well, I can pick up the English horn using the very same fingerings. Here, I'll put it on the stand. And it will come out in a different pitch because of the uh, proportions of the instrument, but the fingerings are the same. Cool. We have yeah. a, a neat duet that we can play that uh, depicts two lonely shepherds on two different mountains. I, I'll play the same, you play English horn. Does that sound like a good idea? Perfect, especially for social distancing. We're talking to one another far away. I'm the one that's softer uh, and more in the distance and the bassoon voice in this duet, this arrangement is the one that's closer. Okay. You'll notice that. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> 